There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Look at him now. Snuck into my larder once again and makes off like a free thief, he does. Oh, mistress, there are rats in the larder. Big ones. Oh, looks like the dog killed them. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here, then. Take these pork bits and don't say that Nan never gives you any. Thank you, ma'am. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. Good evening, my lord. And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled. Ah, oh, marvellous. Just the thing for my guests to hear right before dinner. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Van Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Diamond. I believe you two starred in the last tournament. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, Lord. And this is my lady in waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your land. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You will turn the poor thing scarlet. As it pleases you, my lord. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship.